Many of the compounds that are formed during the breakdown of glucose can be used to build other materials. For example, one of the products is the compound dihydroxyacetone phosphate. This compound can be converted to glycerol by enzyme action. Glycerol forms the backbone of fat molecules for storage and related compounds that are important in building membranes. Another compound formed during sugar breakdown is called acetyl coenzyme A. The acetyl portion is a group that contains two carbon atoms derived from glucose. The coenzyme A part is a carrier compound that is recycled. Acetyl coenzyme A can donate its acetyl groups to many other compounds that are being built, including fats. Having surveyed the structure and function of glucose, let's turn now to the related compound ribose. Ribose has the formula C5H10O5. Like glucose, it is a polyhydroxyaldehyde, a carbohydrate. But its role in life is quite different from glucose. For one thing, ribose is an intermediate compound in the process of photosynthesis. It is continuously recycled during the incorporation of carbon dioxide and water into new sugar molecules. This is a very complex process that involves a number of other sugars.